let's do a uh, full end-to-end -end test of Amazon S3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a Google Sheet that I'm going to fetch every day and then uh, run it through an import page and put it up into S3. So here's my Google Sheet. I mean, you could use a CSV file if you want. You can always drag and drop on your import page. Um, but I'm just going to set this up so it's automatic every day. I have all these extra columns, which I don't care about, so I, I don't, I'm going to make sure that those don't go up into the new CSV, but these are the columns and rows I want. I want to keep the empty spaces. Um, so this is what I expect to be my end resulting CSV file on S3. So what I've done is I've made an import page. Uh, I've chosen S3. The only columns I've wanted to send up are these. Uh, I don't have all those extra ones when I set it up. I made sure that they didn't go there, and these are the only ones that'll go into the new file. Uh, so if I was to click Sheet Details here, I'd go here and I'd see all the um, Amazon credentials I have to put in, right? My, I've made a user with a, with a group and policy that you know, limits, um, limits it to uploads only to my uh, bucket folder. So you know, this is an example access key, but I put that in there. The secret, that's an example. I'm in US West Region 2. This is my bucket name, and this is the folder I want the file to go into. You have to, you have to type the folder name as part of the key. It's the way um, S3 treats objects. The objects are basically a key, and then they display it as a folder structure. Um, then this is going to be my file name. I'm going to use the unique ID um, syntax ECCSV gives me, so it'll make a random ID so that each file is unique. And then I'll have month, day, year. That just helps me, like if I go look later, like when was this file produced? So I think Amazon also will give you, you know, a date timestamp for created ad if you don't care. And this is the link to it. I'm going to make sure the file's uploaded as private. You know, some people might want it public. And then I will save this. And then the import page is all set up. So, you know, every time it runs, if I'm the admin, I can go back here and refresh the page and see it. Um, I've also set up a scheduled fetcher here. I'm going to open that, and that's going to be how the file kind of comes into Easy CSV to upload. So this one's disabled, but um, when you create it, it's automatically enabled. You can always edit it and uncheck this to make it disabled. You'll just check it again if you want it on. So in, the, in this case, it's going to run every 24 hours. I started it yesterday, so it runs right away. I have a time zone. It's going to pull a Google Sheet. You can also you know, pull it from FTP. Um, and it's just going to pull that file and send it to my import page. So you can click force fetch here um, just to test it. It'll force a fetch and send it to your import page. I like to click this button. So we're going to force a fetch. And what it does is it says, go to Google Sheets, grab the sheet, um, and send it to my import page. This request goes into a queue, so you might want to refresh once to see if it uh, goes in there. Yep, it went in there, so it fetched it successfully, and that means it sent it to the import page. We go back to the import page, and we'll refresh here, and you'll see, yep, it got the two records, and it sent it to Amazon. So let's go back to our, our buckets, easy CSV, the folder name, right? I'll, I'll expect a Minnesota Wild file here. I'm going to refresh. Cool, and here we are. I see it has a unique ID, and it has month, day, year. So let's let's download this and take a look at it. Cool. So right, we we got exactly what we wanted from our um, Google Sheet. Just the six columns. We kept the empty spaces. Um, it's up there as a CSV file. So whatever process is going to your S3 bucket or um, grabbing it and putting it in some other system should be uh, all set. Uh, thanks, and, you know, contact, contact support if you need any help.